Hello everyone and welcome to the Module 8 uh, TED Talks Marketing Discussion. Uh, the technique I'll be discussing today, as you can see, is the social networking and the marketing world. So we're all familiar with social networking, a very powerful tool and a very powerful platform to get points across for all companies. And that's why I chose this video today. It's something that we as consumers can all relate to and we can all uh, see where this marketing technique has come into our lives. So we're going to look at how social networking impacts the market today and especially into the future where I see that this marketing technique will uh, continue to grow and become a exponentially larger uh, technique that companies use into their marketing future. Not to read verbatim off the slideshow, but bear with me. So the first slide we have here is a brief definition of social networking. We're going to say uh, social networking is a rising tactic used in the marketing world that utilizes interconnected online communities to facilitate making contacts among communities who would, under normal circumstances, not get the chance to interact. Um, meaning that, for instance, if you, if you have a product that you want to get across to as many people as possible in, uh, in the marketing world, uh, you struggle to find platforms that could adequately handle that for you. Uh, there, is, there is many walks of life and people all around the world do many different things and not all of them are on the same platform and it's sometimes tough to get that across to everybody. My next point here is that it uh, builds a word of mouth reputation for the company to its consumers. Uh, meaning, if you're sitting around with your friends or something along those lines and uh, you and your friends happen to come across a product in your day-to-day -day social media browsing and you discuss it with your friends like, hey, uh, did you see so-and-so product put out that advertisement? And they're like, everybody's like, yeah, of course I saw that. And it generates dialogue that normally wouldn't be had among people in their day-to-day -day communications. So the next point here, another, uh, and I think one of the more critical aspects of social networking is uh, it allows consumers to provide immediate feedback to the company through social media outlets. Uh, one of the examples would be here, um, say you had a bad experience with a product and uh, you want your friends to know about it or you want the company to respond to you based on your complaint with that product. Uh, I think a good example is through Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or Twitter for instance. Um, you can, through various tactics, communicate directly with the company that normally you would have trouble communicating with through other media platforms or other marketing platforms. Uh, if you had an issue with, say, a, um, I would say maybe a, a kitchen device or, you know, you bought like a new blender for your kitchen and your blender didn't work too well. So, you know, you, you go on that company's Facebook and you tag them and you say, hey, uh, you know, I had this problem with my device and normally and more often times than not, you, you get an, an immediate response and that's something that normally doesn't happen with uh, other marketing platforms as I stated previously. So this goes in, my next point here goes into another uh, technique that we recently discussed in Module 7, I believe, and that is the, uh, the more personalized, um, seamless uh, options that marketing, or that uh, companies, excuse me, can provide in their marketing tactics. Uh, we refer to it as location-based marketing or um, GPS-based location marketing, and that is the ability for companies across social media platforms to take their product based on your environment or your location on the planet, and they can personalize and tailor their advertising to better match your needs and uh, your wants as a consumer based on where you're from. A very powerful technique. So my next point here, uh, social networking keeps the consumer informed about the current happenings of the company, any news that may be pertinent to the future and or current performance of the product and or service. We see it a lot and, and it's one of our go-to's when we seek to see what's happening with our favorite company or our favorite product. We oftentimes go to their social media outlets or their Facebook page, their Twitter page, uh, their YouTube page, etc. And we try to see uh, if there is uh, the news that we're thinking of or the rumors that we have heard, for instance, are indeed true. And we look to those social media platforms and social networking to verify the credibility of the rumors or verify even just find news about the company that could potentially impact us as consumers.
So my next slide here kind of goes into the, uh, the topic of, it's mentioning that we as consumers are already using social media platforms for our day-to-day -day recreational activity. Um, we all have our mobile devices on us. We're all on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. We, we have those devices and we have those platforms already at our fingertips in our day-to-day -day lives. So social media or, uh, excuse me, companies that put out products and services are able to leverage that already existing platform that is used in day-to-day -day recreational activity and use that, that platform to advertise their product and market their products to us. And it's a very seamless interaction between the companies and the consumers. So this is just one example of um, a, a, a social networking marketing tactic that I, that I saw and I've seen personally myself on Facebook in particular. Um, this company is called Peel. They uh, produce cell phone cases. Uh, a few years ago, I, I had one of their cell phone cases for one of my iPhones as well. And I actually purchased that case based on an advertisement that I saw on Facebook at one point in my life. Um, it makes sense. People are oftentimes on their phones or on their devices already. And when you, know, you see an ad that's directly pertinent to the device you're browsing your social media platform on, you know, it's like, oh, wow, I already have this phone in my hand. And, you know, consumers look at their phone, they're like, oh, yeah, you know, I could, I could use another case or I, I could use this product. It's actually a very good deal. And they, they dive in further and it creates a, an advertising uh, scenario, an advertising opportunity that can take advantage of an already existing need for a customer without them even knowing it. So that's the end of my TED Talks. Uh, thank you for pairing with me. It's my first blog type of video. I'm sorry for the poor lighting as well, but uh, social networking marketing is going to be a, a, a technique and a marketing tactic that is used well into the future, and I think it's only going to expand its role. Uh, as social media becomes more of a thing in everybody's day-to-day -day lives, and as the mobile device uh, market propagates and becomes more of a, gets more of a foothold in today's economy, and the worldwide market, you will see more and more of this tactic being used. You already see it in increased Facebook ads, uh, companies, and uh, oftentimes vloggers and other companies use the, the company's ad revenue to display the company's advertisements. And uh, like I said, you will see a lot more of it in the future. And uh, thank you for listening to this video. I will take whatever harsh critiques you have for me. Um, but have a good day. Good luck on your blogs.